thanks so much for joining me today for sleek abs workout we're going to work on those internal and external obliques the great thing on those is those are going to tighten things in the transverse abdominal that's your internal weight belt some other muscles called the multifidi that's the posterior part of the core and then the quadratus lumborum that's the back side of the core it helps with lateral pelvic uh, tilting so let's get started and have a great workout okay first one is from this prone position this one is called a plank swivel i have an awesome workout here i have 10 exercises plus one the third exercise is the hardest one and you'll see why once you see it a lot of people have never done it so hold on through that one as well as uh seeing what the bonus exercise is at the very end plank swivel so you want to drop those hips down and try to lift your body up from the obliques really feel the core contract without lifting the shoulders or the hips i'm just looking face down into this movement big deep breaths all these exercises will be 10 reps other than the the third exercise you won't be able to do 10 of this next one <laughs> So you're wondering what it is, huh? So this one, number two, is Spider-Man's. And so you don't wanna change the body alignment. All you're trying to do is tuck that knee in, really get that contraction, and then squeeze down. The slower you bring the leg back down, the more you'll feel that one really working. Great exercise through that outside uh, lateral part of the obliques, the external obliques. So this next one is the hardest one, and I'm just gonna show you one rep but uh, your goal would be going anywhere from two to four reps. So when I have clients try to do it, their goal is four reps. Called a karate ab roll. So I try to keep my shoulders lifted. I'm just spinning on my back to go 180 degrees. And then I spin back. Now if you can do 10 of those, you're the champ. Cause that would be really hard. This next one, these are called vacuums. Vacuums, you want to not move your back, but if you notice, I'm just kind of drawing in really tight. Think of below the belly button. You're pulling those deep inner muscles in tight. That's the transverse abdominal muscle, your internal weight belt. When you get that muscle firing and contracting the right way, it's going to help to stabilize everything else. This next one is called a prone knee tuck under. And so I'm trying to go nice and slow, just tucking that leg across. The further I reach the leg across and forward towards my shoulders or my hands, the more I feel it. Tuck under, reach under, trying to take big deep breaths, drop that hip down and get that leg to cross under. And then next we'll go into a side plank rotation. Next. How are you feeling on those? If you jump from one, my seven-year-old's videoing me. She's doing a great job. That time she moved the camera a little bit. But she was a good sport. She held her arms strong and did all this. This one is called a side plank rotation. So I stagger my feet. And then all I do is just tuck under. It's an awesome, great oblique workout. There I'm getting the quadratus lumborum. I was telling you the backside of that core. So that one's a great one. Just tuck, reach under, and rotate up. Then you switch sides. As you do this one, if you want to hold anywhere from three to five to eight pounds, that one really fires up those shoulders. You'll really feel that uh, rear deltoid working through the movement. It's a good one because you're going to feel that shoulder work. What I try to do is get my elbow tucked under so it's not out far, but I'm trying to use those obliques to contract and not put the stress on the shoulders. These ones are called side V-ups. And what I try to do is try to pull from the abdominals. Don't just pull my body up. So pull from the abdominals, trying to get those obliques. Really sleek ab uh, contraction here on this one. This one's out kind of by a tennis court. So I thought this would be a nice little backdrop here for this. Pull through those obliques, big deep breaths. And this one is one of my favorite all time exercises. It's the reverse curl. Push my hands down, it's able to relax my neck and shoulders. And then all I do is think of a collapsible roof right above you and you're just trying to drive those feet up. Um, there was a research study on that one It shows it's actually one of the best ones, not just for the lower abdominals, but also for those obliques because you're shifting and pulling the hips up. Here is a Russian twist. I have what's called a C-curve in my spine, keeping my feet up for a little bit extra uh, contraction. Taking big deep breaths, just trying to rotate through those obliques. And this is already exercise number nine. They go pretty quick. Breathing out, drop 
drop it on down, let those legs swivel to a um, disassociation from the upper to the lower body. Here we're doing a straight leg bicycle. I like this better than starting with your legs up um, like the regular bicycles. It's a little easier on the back and you have a little bit more contraction. The reason why is because you can actually pull it. You can hold that position because the other leg's supporting your, your back by getting it straightened. So this is exercise number 10 and then I have a bonus one in case you happen to have a bar, kind of like a pull-up bar. And the last one will be called a hanging leg lift with a twist or with rotation, it would be another way to word it. Hanging leg lift and I just do a few. Thanks for joining me. Hope you can enjoy that workout. Try two to four sets.